Hello, we're here with Marloes Blaas backstage after the show at IFAB uh, season autumn winter 2011. So was it, was this collection really for the winter or for for spring? Because it was quite light. Well, it is a winter collection, of mm -hmm. course. Well, I thought the beginning was quite heavy and dark material, so maybe that's more the, the wintry part. Mm -hmm. And in, indeed, I, the end was, was more light, more bright, but I think that's also important, because I think you always mm -hmm. have to have a, a, a bright um, part in your collection. Yeah. So sort of to mix to mix and match and to give people a bit of yeah. everything? Yeah, yeah, a bit of everything. And you can't you can't wear coats all day, so no. you also have to have something for inside. Indeed. So. Indeed. And this time it was a bit um, or actually very glamorous and thought it was with the Charleston music, I was thinking Hollywood or something. So no, is that the right not really Hollywood, but more the 40s. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, the 40s were also a very dark period because of the war. And also the collection was mainly inspired by the working women during the war. But on the other hand, they, this, 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 woman, this, this woman was very proud mm -hmm. to work and to have her function to, to bring something to yeah. the war, you know, because their husbands were fighting and mm -hmm. there were not enough um, employ employees, so they had to call up on women. Yeah. And I think that it also made them very independent. So mm -hmm. that's why I choose for this typical 40s swing music, because mm -hmm. it was not all dark. No. And uh, there was a special piece in your collection, the last one, which was made from uh, land maps, right? Yeah, there were a few items which were made out of the land maps. I tried to uh, reuse a lot of uh, war materials. Mm -hmm. So the first part, which I told you about, um, I used a lot of army tents, okay. very heavy um, uh, tents. And in the end, I used uh, the printed maps. Mm -hmm. During the war, the pilots uh, all had maps printed on silk wow. so when they crashed down and they had these paper maps of course they, wouldn't, they weren't much used because they will tear apart in the water and okay. stuff like that so they printed it on, interesting. on silk yeah very interesting so it was not printed by me it's it's really the original real, uh, material actually from the 40s or did yes, you find yes actually from the 40s wow. yeah. so how did you source that was it hard yeah. to find thank god i have a friend who has a um, uh, yeah, how do you call it um, he has a um, a shop in old army vehicles wow, nice. and he also sometimes buys other other stuff mm -hmm. from the war so and then he calls me hey how do you think of what do you think of this and he use it so he has very a nice. whole building full of treasures cool well thank you very much i'll leave it to other reporters thank you bye